seen the images. It has shared devastation in the Bahamas. Emergency crews are still out searching for dozens of people who went missing after the storm. Nearly 3,500 people have already evacuated to Nassau, while others are still coming to the U.S. Many waited in long lines this weekend to get on boats and planes headed to Florida, but the difficulty is just getting out. 10 News reporter Madison Allworth explains how families are now evacuating. The devastation Dorian left behind in the Bahamas is visible at every turn. The United Nations reports that 70,000 people lost their homes to the hurricane. On Abaco and Grand Bahama Island, the damage is so significant that there's really nothing left for people to stay. So now that they want to go, how do they do that? We also brought back uh, over 25 evacuees. So we, we brought them back to Tampa. Volunteers like Mark have answered the call. He has been volunteering and flying for the nonprofit Soul Relief. Since Tuesday, they have made dozens of flights to the Bahamas and have dropped off tens of thousands of supplies. Some of their flights back, though, haven't been empty. When they got to Tampa, they um, cleared customs. It took a while because we brought them in unannounced. Um, so we're working on that infrastructure to make sure that doesn't happen again, but it's tough. And that infrastructure involves working closely with U.S. Customs and Border Protections, as well as the Bahamian authorities, to make sure everyone is accounted for and not thought of as missing. Then there's documentation. Currently, Bahamians can travel to the U.S. with a visa. But if they don't have a visa, evacuees can still come to the U.S. with pre-clearance at a CBP office in the Bahamas, a valid passport, and no criminal record. But it seems there might still be room for evaluation, which is why Border Patrol is asking for all entities assisting in evacuations to work with them and the Bahamian authorities. Even so, many Florida politicians, including Senators Rick Scott and Marco Rubio, are asking to have visas waived for Bahamians with relatives in the U.S. to make things as seamless as possible. For Mark, he says the pilots couldn't take off with open seats. You get over there and... You know, they, 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 are, they have passports they need out. They have homes that are gone. And we're leaving in an empty plane. You can't leave them on the ground. I'm sorry, Tampa Customs, if we offended you, but this is what we're dealing with. Got to get them out of there. The National Emergency Management Agency says those who are choosing to stay on Abaco are being given temporary housing. For the Bahamians who have ev evacuated to NASA, there are shelters that are in place ready to receive people. And as of Saturday night, 860 people had been placed in those shelters.